Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Martha, in case you did not already know that, now you do. Today I want to introduce to you guys a new series that I want to start doing here on my channel. It'll be called the My Faith series, where basically I will be giving you guys the breakdown of my faith, what I believe in, and all of that kind of stuff for you guys. And it's going to be simple, it's going to be just what I actually believe in, in my faith. That made any sense to you guys. I hope you join me in this series. And we're going to be starting off with Jesus. And I thought it was perfect time to talk about Jesus with Easter literally right around the corner. Unless you're not watching this when I originally posted it, then it's still a great time to learn about Jesus regardless. <laughs> And talking about Jesus, there's just so much to talk about. There's so many things you could say. I just wanted to break it down to the three main characteristics of Jesus that mean the most to me. Not that they don't all mean a lot, but these three things that I feel are very near and dear to my heart. And the first one is that Jesus is my friend. As cheesy as that may sound, I know, um, I just really have felt like this has been so important for my relationship with Jesus and that because I feel like he's my friend, I just have more faith in him. You know what I mean? So I want to read to you guys this verse in John chapter 15 verse 13 and it says, Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. Like, he actually gave his life for us so that we could live. What kind of friend would actually do that, you know? Having Jesus as a friend has really helped me in a lot of different seasons of my life where times where I may have felt lonely or times where I just wanted to have someone to talk to or whatever. I know that there are times at night where I just lay down and I'm just like, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Today was crazy. And I just talked to him like he's my friend because that's the kind of relationship that he wants to have with us. It's not always something like so... Um, proper and sophisticated. It's not always like that. Sometimes you can just have a chat with him and I think that's something that I've really enjoyed with my relationship with him because it's like a relationship that you won't have with any other person nowhere. So the second thing that really defines my relationship with Jesus is that I see him as my teacher. So Jesus is my teacher. Throughout the gospel books, which are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus teaches us about everything we need to know in life. Not only does he teach us about him, about God, the Holy Spirit, about heaven, he teaches us about things that we're going to need in our own personal life and in our own walk with him. A lot of people like to say like, oh, those are ancient words said thousands of years ago that aren't really relevant today. And it's like, no, no, because Jesus made everything very simple. It wasn't complex. It wasn't only for that time period. It was for the rest of our lives, you know? Basically, Jesus taught me everything I know. Well, he is teaching me everything that I need to know about life because it's an everyday process. It's not just reading through the books and then saying, oh, okay, got it, I'm set for life. No, it's like every day Jesus is teaching us how to live life. And I think that's great that we're never alone. Again, we have a friend in him and he is always with us. So, yeah. So, of course, the third thing is that Jesus is my Savior. I was trying to find a verse that I could tie back into this. And I was avoiding John 3.16 just because I feel like it's so cliche and like, I don't know. Um, but finally, I was like, you know what? No, this is a very powerful verse. And I just really want to read it really quickly to you guys. I'm going to read John chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. 
For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. I don't know about you, but whenever I read this verse, it's just like, no, it's bigger than that. It's like, okay. So I basically believe in Jesus ultimately because of this, because he is our savior and he did come and he saved me from this world, which is a dark world and it's dark and it's scary. And sometimes it's really easy to get lost in it, you know? But he has given us a salvation that is priceless. You know, we we can't afford it. There's nothing we can do to be worth it. But he did it out of his love. When we weren't worthy, he loved us so much that he wanted to save us from this world and have an eternal life with us. And to me, it's really like, how could I not believe in Jesus when he paid the ultimate Christ for my sins, for my wrongs, for my failures. He paid that price so that I could have a life full of happiness, a life full of joy, and an eternal life with Him. And it's just like, how could I just ignore that? I can't. It's impossible for me to ignore that. So in my faith, I have chosen to believe in Jesus because of that. I know that one day I'll be able to be before his presence, to be with him in heaven, and it's going to all be worth it. So that was pretty much it. I know there's so much more that we could talk about Jesus. It's an endless, endless, endless topic, but I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and simple just like Jesus would have. <laughs> and just to recap really quickly, Jesus is my friend, he's my teacher, and he's my savior. And I remember those things every single day throughout my life. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, that you guys are excited about this series. I know I'm excited. Let me know what other things you guys want me to talk to you guys about. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you liked this new series, and I've not subscribed yet, be sure to do so down below by hitting that subscribe button and you'll automatically be notified whenever I upload a video and you'll be part of this wonderful, lovely community of supporting, encouraging, and loving people. I'll see you guys all really soon. Don't forget that you guys are all super incredible and I love you all so, so much. I really, really do. I'm not just saying that. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye. La verdad, la verdad, que a mí me fascina este. Este es mi favorito, yo creo que.